Lewis structure for cesium nitride. This staircase on most periodic tables separate the metals from the non-metals. Cesium is a metal from the far left of the periodic table, and nitrogen is a non-metal from the right-hand side of the periodic table. Important because when metals and non-metals combine, you get ionic compounds, which is a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. What electrons, you might ask? Well, cesium is in group one. So each cesium atom is drawn with one valence electron to start with. Nitrogen is in group 15. I want you to draw it with five valence electrons. Get it? 15 is five, the final digit. And there you go. That is an atom of nitrogen. Now, the other key bit is that nonmetals, other than hydrogen, want eight electrons in their outer shell to be stable. And they can steal electrons away from metals. So, this cesium gives its electron away to nitrogen. And now nitrogen has six, which is closer, but it's not a full eight. Where is it going to get more? The answer is more cesium atoms. You can draw as many as you need to complete the octet on the non-metal. This cesium atom donates its electron, and this cesium atom donates its electron. That is three cesiums giving away one electron each to complete the octet on nitrogen. That's why the formula is CS3N because you need three of these to complete the octet on nitrogen. To draw the full Lewis structure, I want you to now draw nitrogen with a full eight electrons in its outer shell. That's three more than it brought initially, so it has a minus three charge. Now you need to draw three cesium atoms, but each of them gave away its one valence electron, so don't draw any electrons around them and they each have a plus one charge. I like to spread these out around the nitrogen. Kind of makes it look like a molecule, even though ionic compounds aren't officially molecules. Just makes it easier to look at, if you ask me. And there's my completed Lewis structure for the ionic compound cesium nitride. This here shows the transfer of electrons. This is your completed Lewis structure. Not bad. Thanks for sticking with me and best of luck.